Now, I turn to uh, Yushi Osoya. As I already said, he knows better than anybody contemporary East Asian international politics. China was mentioned by Thomas a moment ago. What would you say? Dear Professor, you have the floor. Well, thank you very much, Indy, for your very kind introduction. I hope that you can hear my voice. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me uh, first express my greatest gratitude to, for the organizer of this conference to make this possible, particularly, of course, uh, uh, I'm really grateful for Ms. Uh, yeah to make this miracle possible. And I think that this is not just a miracle, but this is also a very good sign to see the retreat of the spread of the coronavirus, if not the end of the coronavirus disease. But anyway, I, I like to present a point of view from East Asia or from Indo-Pacific region, because I believe that the current uh, globalization largely comes from uh, Indo-Pacific region. Likewise, the future of the virus, uh, the globalization continues to eight. We now know that globalization has not ended with the spread of the coronavirus. However, we are seeing the globalization that is quite different from globalization as we knew. Therefore, it is important for us to understand the nature of this issue. And to do that, I like to focus on the three points. The first important point is that we need to look at the Indo-Pacific region, what happens in Indo-Pacific region. I'm particularly glad that uh, World Policy Conference has been quite kind to Asia or Asians, Asian participants. That's why in Korea we have two Asians, not just one. I fully understand that Korea is an important country and that Korea can represent Asian voice. But uh, two is better than one, I'd say. So that's why I uh, think that the double PST really reflects the current international politics. Uh, so in this sense, I think that the globalization or dynamism of globalization now will only come from the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, secondly, I'd like to focus on the importance of uh, digitalization as previous speakers already mentioned. i like to say that today we are seeing the digitalized globalization. Therefore, I can join in this session by using the benefit of uh, the internet. It is well, sometimes very difficult to see, directly see, uh, uh, cyberspace. But on the other hand, uh, we have to feel and we have to be aware of the importance of cyberspace. And the large part of globalization actually now comes from in this cyberspace. So that the combination of the dynamism both in, in the Pacific region and the digital cyberspace is nowadays very important, I would say. Thirdly, I like to focus on the importance of structural confrontation between the United States and China, as also previous speakers mentioned well. The important point is that we are now seeing the evolution of compartmentalized globalization. Now China is trying to realign supply chain and realign the economic space in Asia. Because both United States and Europe have become much more hostile to Chinese activities. That's why I think that China is trying to be closer to the ASEAN. Nowadays, the ASEAN is the biggest trading partner to China. So under the current coronavirus situation, China is trying to create a very deep, strong Asian economic space. So the question is how United States, China, uh, sorry, United, United States, Europe, and Japan try to face the current difficulty. The United States government under the President Joe Biden is trying to create much stronger uh, cooperation among democracies. So. In uh, the U.S.-Japan summit meeting in April this year, and also in the uh, last week's Quad summit meeting in Washington, D.C., 
I think that the United States government is focusing on the importance of emerging technologies and the cooperation among democracies or the core, core democracies, the United States, Japan, India, and Australia in the areas of emerging technologies. So we need to realize that now globalization is much more divided and compartmentalized. The question we are facing now is further uh, we we try to end this compartmentalization, or whether we try to focus on the importance of cooperation among uh, uh, sorry, uh, perhaps uh, is so. I try to uh, reconnect. I will end. Just I like. I think that uh, both Japan and Europe are seeing uh, the importance of the current quite a rapid transformation of the nature of globalization. So uh, we, I mean, both European countries and Japan are now wanting American agenda of creating cooperation among democracies. But how to respond to China's challenge? Maybe this will become the biggest for us in the current World OC Conference this year. Thank you very much, uh, you Tracy, for your very kind uh, uh, invitation to the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Professor, for this uh, impressive vision. Uh, we appreciate enormously the effort you are making to be connected to this, uh, to this room. It was great, great uh, pleasure to hear you.